A local woman being recognized for her business that aims to reclaim agriculture for minorities. News 10's Michaela Singleton speaking with her and with a crowdfunding platform that is honoring her dream. Amid all the hustle and bustle of downtown Troy sits a beautiful flower garden teeming with life. It's the dream of Shanice Fleming, who just this year started an all-new business, Queen's Cut Flower Farm. Troy, the city itself, is paved. A um, lot of parking lots, a lot of, like, cement. Um, and there aren't many public green spaces or green spaces, period. Fleming says with the help of a friend who owns Second Street Farm, she was able to put down new roots and grow her business. It wasn't easy moving from being a rare face in first the restaurant industry to now in farming. I was working in kitchens when there weren't many people who looked like me, right? And then I transitioned to something else where it's like the same thing. Um, and it's hard. Fleming says she wants to break the mold on what defines the American farmer. When she took to GoFundMe raising money for seeds and supplies, the platform took notice. There is so much magic um, when people rally around someone's dream and whether that is, you know, growing a business or helping their community thrive or a combination of both like Shanice's story. Fleming has now been recognized as a GoFundMe hero for her dedication to creating a safe space for black and indigenous people in agriculture. She says she wants to continue spreading her love for the earth, for following your passions and to share that with the Capital Region community. I feel something while I'm in the field. Like I feel something when I'm growing flowers and you can't give in, you can't give up. Reporting in Troy, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.